Hello friends, today we are going to learn about the subtraction. So, before going with the subtraction, you can try a few warm-up questions. So, you can pause the video and try these questions here. So, let's see the answers. So, there you go with the answers for your warm-up questions. So, you can check the answers. I hope you have done an amazing job in trying all these questions here. So now let's move ahead and see how we are going to do the subtraction of four digit number without borrowing and subtraction of four digit number by borrowing. So first we'll be learning how to do the subtraction of four digit numbers without borrowing. So here we need to take away 3276 from 5896. So while we need to do the subtraction, we always start from the units place value. So first we are going to check with the units place value. Here we have to take away 6 from the 6. So that's going to be 0. Then next step we will move ahead with the tens place value. So if you take away 7 from 9, you are left with the 2. After that, we move with the hundreds place value. So here, subtract the hundreds and write 6 in the hundreds column. And with the last step, we are going to check with the thousands column. And if you take away 3 from 5, you are left with the 2. So the answer here that we have got is 2620. So that's how we go with the subtraction of 4 digit number without borrowing. Moving to the next topic, we need to do subtraction of 4 digit numbers by borrowing. So here, starting from again with the units column, so we need to take away 4 from the 3 as we can't do that because 4 is a bigger number while 3 is a smaller number. So 3 is going to borrow from the 2. So here exchange 1 tens for 10 ones. So 3 here becomes with the 13 and 2 will become the 1. So 13 take away 4 gets you 9. As again we can't take away 3 from the 1 so this one we're going to borrow from the hundreds column so here we exchange one hundreds for 10 tens so this one gets become 0 and here the 1 will become 11 so 3 take away from 11 gets you 8 Now moving ahead, exchange 1000 for 100 hundreds. As we can't take away the 2 from the 1, so as it was left earlier with the 0 only, so it is going to borrow the 100 hundreds from the thousands column, so it becomes 10 here. So 10 take away 2 gets you 8, and the thousands column the 7000 is going to become as 6000 so 6 take away 6 gets you 0 so the final answer that we have got is 889 I hope you are clear with the subtraction of four digit numbers without borrowing and by borrowing so here we have the practice time so you can pause the video and try all these questions of the subtraction I hope you have tried all the questions here so you can check your answers with these given answers. So there you go with more practice questions with the word problems. So you can read the questions and try them. You can pause the video for that. And there you go with the answers for the given questions. So the seventh question asks you that is the question uh, is the question that's given to you the answer is correct or not? So the answer is not correct. So the answer corrected is 
1099 so you can try that and check that so that's all for this video I hope you have done an amazing job with trying all these questions with the subtraction so for more videos please visit justtutors.com thank you